All right. So today I want to introduce SWB Audio App 1.0.4 and also the new ability to route microphone using SWB Audio App into <clears throat> the uh, SWB Audio Capture driver. So this lets us do things like uh, record both the output of the driver and the microphone in Audacity. So I'll demonstrate this. I've got a little clip here in GarageBand which I'll just play. Very boring. And the way that's set up, let me drag that for you so you can see it, is in GarageBand I'm outputting to the SWB audio capture device. So that's why we hear it. So in Audacity, uh, we should go to Preferences, go to Devices, and just make sure that we're recording a stereo track because it is actually stereo. And then as long as you have your input set to SWB Audio Capture, that's all you need. So we'll start some monitoring. And you can see that's my voice. And if I start the other audio track, which we'll probably hear on the recording because I'm using the same device. We hear that. Now let's hit record here and give us a track. Hit play. Get some of the music output, hit stop, and it's just me. Let's preview that back. And that was coming out of my local speakers here, so I'm not sure you could hear it. But that's all there is to it. So what it needs is the latest version, 1.0.4 of SWB Audio App, and you need to tick the route microphone to SWB Audio Capture. I won't turn that off right now because uh, that'll stop this recording. Uh, but you can simply choose what device you want as your microphone, uh, whether or not you want to route it. Now notice you do not have to have preview running. So preview would preview both audio capture and microphone to another device. Um, but you don't need that to make this work. As long as the um, microphone was ticked as you saw there and as long as whatever you are sending audio from is sending direct to the uh, SWB audio capture driver that's all you need. So hopefully that um, helps you a little bit with audacity and recording application audio as well as the microphone at the same time.